makes it so it began to get to us and all of that we viewed we viewed several houses but we just didn't get it because we came on student visa and myself and my husband my channel if you are new here my name is Shei Fumi and I'm a youtuber based in the United Kingdom thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel and please don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to like and to share this video thank you so much so I'm actually it's um Thursday morning it's about 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning it's about 8 a.m. because I just woke up kids I upstairs with your dad. I actually came to make breakfast, but I said, let me just do this video to probably encourage someone or to just share my own personal experience. Please let me put out a disclaimer first that anything I'm saying in this vlog is my experience. It's personal to myself and my family. It might not be the same for the next person. It might not be the same for any other person, but this is my own experience this is my own story this is my family story and i woke up overwhelmed like not in a bad way in a very good way i'm excited because okay let me just give you the background knowledge but at the time all this thing happened i i didn't have a channel yet i, I started um, vlogging or being on youtube december and i'm glad my friend pushed me thank you so much aisha if you're watching this so what really happened was that i came into the united kingdom october with my family because your girl is roots <laughs> you know the meaning of roots i'm gonna say that but i just couldn't leave my family um at home one i've got two kids and they are all still small but my baby is just um one year old as at the time we moved in and all of that so when we came in for us the settling phase was was challenging. It was it was a very difficult word for us. I think myself and my husband sort of came back to Nigeria at least twice in that space of one month that we're trying to settle down because it was a lot to hold in. Nothing really prepared us for that because we came with our two toddlers and I'm a student. I came as an international student. I'm supposed to start lectures, registration coping with the fact of looking for accommodation. So we started looking for accommodation. We are at Airbnb for weeks, spending money. We are comfortable, right, in the Airbnb, but we needed to settle down because everything was on hold. We could not register my kids in the GP. I could not do anything. I just could not do anything. It was as if our lives were just on hold without the accommodation. So we started looking, started looking when we see houses, that we really love and my husband wants it to be like by the time we we'll do all of those and go out to feel from they won't keep us everything is, is always unfortunately 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 so it began to get to us and all of that we viewed we viewed several houses but we just didn't get it because we came on student visa and myself and my husband were both on the plant at the moment because who were you even expecting we just came in so, so cause the long story short, we didn't actually get the house we wanted. We didn't actually get the house we, we loved. So we got this apartment that we are in now. And it wasn't what we really wanted, but it was what we were given. was the house that gave that we got without any issues, reference, asking for employment and all of that. So we got the house and we moved in. My husband wasn't really happy about it because my husband likes something. Because at, at that point, you know, coming to a country you are prepared, you came with money because you know definitely, literally with us that come that came with our kids, we can't afford to be a strand there. So it took us a lot of planning. We didn't just decide to come to the UK. We planned it. It took us several months. We actually planned this thing well. So we've been able to save up some money and all of that. But still, with all the money, we still didn't get what we wanted because. We didn't fit into the criteria they were looking for. So it was all of that. We, my mother was not happy, but I was the one trying to encourage my mother that, that babe, it's not bad. Let's just get it and all that. So we moved in and after the moving in phase, getting 
and the job and all of that because we needed virtually my husband that is dependent and I needed to start working they need to start making money because money has almost finished. Don't forbid bad thing that we are struggling in the United Kingdom. So my husband got the job and the job was not really paying well. Sometimes they won't even give him shifts in a week. And my husband was like, what am I even doing here? No job, the little job I managed to get. They don't give me shifts and all of that. Me, I'm still trying to settle down in school. So looking for work was not even an option at that time because i've got kids so all of that it was it was at some points guys i'm not even kidding it was so much for us to handle but we persevered we and let me just put in this like in everything i do please let god be at the center and i'm not a pastor right but i've seen god work miracles i've seen god do the unbelievable the unbelievable i've seen god come through for people even myself i've seen god come through for me and my family in ways that we didn't even thought you know the bible says god's god's ways are different from man's way when you think it should be like this then god just tells you no it's like this so sometimes or most times let god be at the center of everything you are doing we saw the house by the time we got the houses, we signed a sort of tenancy agreement and there were a lot of clauses. You will not do this, you will not do that. If you reach an agreement, this and that, you will be sued. Your deposits will go and all of that it was a lot. But at, at that time, we didn't thought of moving. We came in October. This is January 18. <clears throat> and it's safe to say that, guys, we are moving. We got, we got the house we wanted. My husband got the job a lot. In fact, it was a job my husband got that we're able to get the house because he got a very good and high paying job and the job did referencing for him that shows you how reputable the job he got was so the job did referencing for him it was a beautiful house guys i'm not joking it was even far more beautiful than the houses we thought we wanted that time and we didn't get and we were heartbroken now see us in three months or less after getting a more beautiful house my husband got a good paying job and all of that but <coughs> excuse me guys it didn't come easy my, my husband will do night job <coughs> excuse me he will come back in the morning they will call me they will ask him if i was able to do morning will go he will do after me it was a lot of work that even at some point i was scared that babe please don't break up oh. you know yeah if you see doctor is difficult not like lagos that we have family doctors that will come home and treat you yeah please you are my one and only you you are the only family i have here because it was it was putting in all the work you know one thing about uk is that as long as you can work the money is attractive so my husband was always going nice and actually the job was actually nice but sometimes and most times they call him for day shifts and all of that so my husband was juggling everything then december we just felt like babe look at my husband said babe let's let's see if we can move and now that i got a good job money is coming and all of that and good news guys i also started working mid-december i got a job that wasn't stressful and the pay is not bad not as much as my husband's own but it was good without stress because remember guys i've got kids and we we're able to save up money and we're now looking into getting um, another place for ourselves and guys it was seamless everything came back good we are moving we've signed our tenancy agreement and i'm just telling someone that this the certain face i don't know i'm, I'm not a professional seeker but let me just say that the certain face might be very difficult it might be an asu it might be it might be overwhelming it might be frustrating especially if you have kids if you just do you, you know how you can just manage yourself but coming with kids so I'm just glad we're moving and I'm really happy guys and it didn't even take long for God to come through and about the tenancy agreement we spoke to the agency we gave them a couple of reasons I wanted to move and all of that and they said okay no problems that if the house is in good condition that they will start they will post the house back online and people can start viewing and guys yesterday which was Wednesday six people came to view the house and after that six I can say that four people already like the house so we're not going to have issues transitioning into another place and i'm really happy about this new phase 2023 started on a not too well good 
on a not too good tone. But see, guys, my birthday was January 7. A few weeks ago, I was 30. There was no celebration, nothing. Because my mother was working. I think, my, okay, I, I walk in the morning on my birthday. On my 30th birthday, I walk in the morning. Then my mother did nice. And all of that, nothing. It, even Christmas, we didn't go anywhere. Because, I don't know, for some reason, we just wanted to just move out of the house. And guys, let me say, it wasn't that the house is that bad. It's not really bad. In fact, this house, the people will try to get this house. But for us, it's not just what we wanted. So guys, let me stop here. I'll do a tour of the house. This house that we're hanging now, I'll do a tour for you guys now. And I'll end the vlog there. And my next video will be the tour of our new house. God, I'm sure you will love it. It's beautiful. It's everything and more. I can't wait to show you the tour of my new house. So guys, if at this point you've not liked, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do. I love you guys so much. And this likes and comments and share will help me out a lot. So guys, let's go. Let's let me do the house tour because I'm moving tomorrow. We started packing anyway. We started packing yesterday because we started coming in for viewing and all of that. We started packing yesterday. So let me just take you around the house where we are. And my next vlog will be house of our new tour. I love you guys. See you. Let's go. So when you come in, this is what you're going to see. This is the door that leads. I don't know this. I don't know what is happening here, but I think this is like the walkway or <laughs> hi guys. So okay, let's go. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is quite big. Please ignore that tripod. <laughs> this is the kitchen. It comes with oven. It comes with double oven. Anyway, it comes with double oven. Then he has this fridge. He has an inbuilt fridge. And this is the freezer. He has an inbuilt freezer. We bought the washing machine and all of that. So this is the kitchen. We got a lot of cabinets. A lot of cabinets. But we just want to move. This is so this is the kitchen guys. So from the kitchen, you see the living room. Okay, there's a storage here. Guys, you can see our boxes. We're already packing. We started packing our... So yeah, that's good hanger. This is the storage. We started moving. This is the storage. And this is the living room. Let me on the light, guys. <laughs> that's my baby's <laughs> Stuffy. This is the living room. So we bought this dining. We didn't make the dining here. We bought the dining ourselves. We did that. In fact, guys, huh, we bought the wall bracket, all this thing. Just to make the house fine because for some reason the house, in fact, after everything we even bought, that's just looking somehow. I don't know. Please ignore what that that is going on in the background. I'm trying to dry my baby's clothes. Then we have this frame here. This is that's my baby scooter. This is the living room. Then this wallpaper they say we can't change it and we can't put any other thing on it. That's electric heating. Yeah. Just you know that if we first put and uh, we first put the TV. My children broke the TV in less than two weeks. When we got the second one, my mother tried to put it on this mountain. <laughs> so, we didn't use this TV anything at all. This is where the TV is. And let me show you guys the garden. Let me show you guys the garden. So guys, this is the garden. The thing about the house is that it's very spacious, but it's an old house. It's an old house. So that's my baby's table and chair where they hit. With this table and chair, my baby will still litter the whole floor. So let's go upstairs, guys. Let me show you what upstairs look like.
I'm getting no sticks. <laughs> Mama, I'ma see your nose. Babe, say hi. Baby, not say hello to my head. It's still morning. Jamal, yeah? Yeah? Okay, I'll give you my khaki. I'll give you daddy's khaki. So this is the master bedroom, guys. It's precious. Yes, all these cabinets upstairs. We also the one that fixed the blind. And this is what the other side looks like. It's full wardrobe. It's three bedroom. So this is one of the room upstairs. Then, okay, let me show you where I and the kids stay with mama, my baby girl. <laughs> this is the second bedroom. Guys, we fixed the blind. Everything I see in this room. Huh. This is not a bedroom. It's a very small bedroom. This is the door. This is the other side here. This is it. And this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Then there's a mirror here. My hair is a mess. Like I'm actually going to make my hair today. This is the bathroom. This is the bathtub. Then there's this dryer. Okay. So that's the old bathroom. I'll turn it. Then this is the third room. We actually didn't use this room. Guys, I'm still going to do unboxing of my birthday gifts. My friend Haisha, she gave me this box. Hmm. And these are my gifts for my husband and all of that. I've not had time for that. These are my baby new arrival too. They have they've not worn all these clothes here. So this is the third room. We didn't use it. So this is the nest that comes in all the rooms before we change them to behind. This is the nest that comes with all the rooms. So I think that's everything. So I'm going to end this vlog here. So guys, I'm going to end this vlog here, and <laughs> the next vlog will be a tour of our new house. I can't wait, guys. I'm sure you guys will love it. So you've seen where we are now, then I will show you um, a tour of where we're moving to. We're actually moving tomorrow, and I'm super excited, guys. I'm super, super, super excited. So, see you guys in my next vlog. Till then, I really, 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 really love you guys. Bye.